Hey guys, welcome back and thank you so much for watching yet another Sims 4 speed build. So today I'm doing something kind of fun just because it's so different for me at least. I know plenty of people probably have done this before but this is mine for sure. So I am making a vineyard or a winery somewhere you can basically go and pretend to um, enjoy a glass of wine um, but in the Sims of course it's grape juice um, in a wine glass. <laughs> so we're gonna pretend a little bit just because there isn't actually like a wine tasting feature but there should be. So we are building a winery today in a vineyard, uh, whatever you want to call it. I officially called it the grapevine on the gallery. Um, I'll upload it as a restaurant um, just because it's like one of the easiest ways to control like you know, mainly serving wine and maybe a charcuterie, cheese and wine, cheese and meat platters um, for appetizers, that kind of a thing. So, um, yeah, you can download it on the gallery under Maganda Sims, um, and it's called the Grapevine. So we are at um, the Windenburg world. <laughs> Sorry, I had to think about how to say that. But we're in Windenburg. We're on a 64 by 64 lot, so it's a huge lot. I don't I don't like to go on large lots that often, but here we are today just because I wanted room for so many vines. Um and I didn't like really realize once I picked the lot like how big this lot is. But we fill it up. We we use the space pretty well. Um, but anyways, this is the Dresden house lot, if you wanted to place it in the same lot that I built it in. Um, and this, uh, we kind of already built like the exterior and starting on the interior of the tasting room. So this is kind of like where you would arrive and check in, maybe pick up your bottle of grape juice <laughs> or um, just ask to ask for like a table or, you know, whatever check in <laughs> this is where you would enter um there's gonna be like a bartender behind this bar and like i said you can just like um pick up your uh, bottles here or you can just wait on one of these bar stools as um, you wait for your table to be ready but either way it's um a pretty fun lot to play in whether it is set as so um since we don't have like a winery or you know wine tasting lot feature or lot type um i made sure that it meets the requirement for a few different lot types so you can choose how you play with this lot it's um it, you can either play with it as a restaurant so i put in like the hostess area for like a check-in area whatever and all of the tables and chairs and bar stools and the chef um station like everything you would need for a restaurant um is here and i actually like set the menu um to have all of the wine looking drinks on the menu and then some sparkling water of course you gotta have that and some regular water and then i just chose all of the appetizers as like like i said like all of the things that you would see at a winery as, as you go wine tasting like cheese and cheese and meat platters olives um, that kind of thing, anything that'll pair well with wine, um, and then, yeah, that's it, just some light bites for the actual dinner, um, like sandwiches, things like that, um, and so that's how it, that's what to expect for, like, to play this as a restaurant, and so that's pretty fun. You could also set it as a bar. I think the a lounge lot type would be pretty fitting because um, it's just a, like a little bit more of a casual environment. Um, so it's pretty fitting and focuses on uh, drinks too. Um, so a bartender will naturally show up and you just order your grape juice from the bar and seat yourself. So that's pretty nice too. And then you could just like sit out on the patio, which you haven't seen me built yet. So, oops, um, but sit out on the patio, enjoy the views, um, and then, uh, yeah, listen to some good music. There's going to be, like, a guitar, microphone, and, like, one of those, like, 
stations that came with City Living where a musician, you can hire a musician and like give them tips and stuff. Um, so that's fun. And then the last way that you can play this, the last lot type that you can play this as is a residential lot. Because there is going to be like a small house in one of the corners. Um, it won't be like obvious that it's a part of this house. This or you know that there's a house on site because of course we want it to be like private for the owners um but yeah that's the idea like the owners of the winery um will live there it's just a small you know one bedroom one bathroom home but it's cute and it blends in well with the tasting room um so it doesn't like stick out like a sore thumb and yeah i won't talk about it too much right now but this again is the tasting room and i ended up like fiddling around with the terrain tools a little bit more than I normally do in builds because I wanted the tasting room to kind of be elevated and it to be like on the top of on the on top of a hill <laughs> it's not that dramatic of a hill but you know it's enough to be interesting so I wanted to be able to do like these double tiered stairs upon arrival um I don't know if I already said, but there's, I wasn't looking at an inspiration photo. I don't think I said. So there, I wasn't looking at an inspiration, inspiration photo for this build. I was just kind of thinking of a few local wineries and I kind of had some like certain features from each winery in my head. Um, so I kind of like stole those ideas from local wineries and mushed it all together into one so um like for example this the building was one winery i had in mind and they had those beautiful double tiered stairs and like just some nice landscaping on each side and then another local winery has like a really pretty um just like patio area with the pergola basically exactly like this um, and it just has like some cobblestone and a fountain in the center. So it's very peaceful. Um, and then lots of like lush vines growing all over the pergola, of course. So you'll see me work on that in a little bit, um, just to kind of beautify this area. So that's good. This is going to be like the main tasting area <laughs> if you, um, want to play it as a winery which is really the only way to imagine this place because um, there's going to be grapevines surrounding it um, so yeah this is the main tasting area you can also get a table inside the tasting room which you'll see me work on in a little bit um, and yeah either way it has kind of like I'd say like rustic old world romance meets California wine country. Um, it's kind of specific, but <laughs> that's kind of the feel I was trying to go for here. Um, and so, yeah, I felt like Windenburg was a pretty fitting place for that kind of a description. And I felt like, you know, that world or that gameplay in general, you would probably want to go wine tasting if you could so yeah that's why i chose these tables and chairs in particular i wanted to go for like the farm tables dark farm tables with um like a bit of a modern metal chair um for that california touch and then yeah these light round tables just to mix it up with the wicker chairs i felt look really really nice um created kind of like a cool casual vibe on this patio and then of course we got to throw in the music um some good music as you're tasting some good grape juice out here um and then once we throw in the vines all around it'll be really really nice um just like just imagine sitting out there and having 360 views of the vineyard so nice um and then so i'm popping back into the tasting room entrance and just adding a bunch of wine bottles on or grape juice bottles sorry on each wall um that way you can imagine just you know them pulling your bottles of wine uh your wine order for the month or whatever and filling it right in this tasting room entrance and then i put the hostess station so that you could use it as a restaurant or you know pretend like you're checking in for your um 
tasting reservation and we gotta have a restroom <laughs> That's one of the basics for all of the lot requirements. So I put that right near the entrance and I ended up adding um, like a, a outdoor restroom like along the path um, off camera and it's it's after my um, tour as well. So but it's in the gallery if you ended up downloading it. Um, you'll notice a few changes off camera. I think there were just like two changes. I added a microphone so that you could play it as a lounge and then I added a um, outdoor restroom just to make, um, just to give another option for anybody that has to pee while somebody is in the restroom. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that. And um, these willow trees i felt like brings a little bit of that romance to this lot um i don't know there's just something like fairy tale like about willow trees so i wanted to have at least a few here so you'll see me put a few in later and i pulled out this pond just because i want there to be ponds as well that was another feature from a local winery that i definitely really wanted a lot of just like some natural pathways flowing around the vines so that you could like just take a stroll through the vines and then there's some nice ponds with some fountain features so um again just creating that kind of vibe um i thought would be really really nice here um so uh, yeah here i am just starting on the pathways just to kind of pave out where i want these vines because i realized that it would be a little bit tedious i wanted to be sure about the placement before i went ahead and started placing each one individually so i basically just searched for grapevines in the gallery and thankfully there's some users that uploaded uh, grapevines in bulk and they're already perfect so they're not gonna die very easily <laughs> so it's just like an easy water once you buy them you know every once in a while it's not even very um it's it's not very needy <laughs> to take care of all of these great plants just like spend one morning um watering some vines and you're good to go um basically so yeah not that difficult i kind of honestly made it very difficult because i'm not familiar like that much with like the gardening aspect of it and like all the seasons and stuff like so when you place grapevines for the first time and they're requiring like a fall season to be like in full bloom but you're trying to get it to work in the summertime um i was like trying to do all of these workarounds like um pressing the like cheat for each plant individually and say making it say like fully bloomed and also doing the cheat for it to be um, in season so that was a little bit more tedious than I had to make it. I basically ended up in the end just letting it turn into fall even though it looks so much more green and lush in the summer. Um, I basically still ended up doing the tour in the fall that way um it was just like easier to get the vines all growing at the same pace um but you guys probably know an easier way to do it um either way once you download it from the gallery they're ready to go i was just making it really complicated <laughs> but i downloaded perfect grapes so they're basically gonna do the they already did the work for you and in making them perfect um so yeah it'll be easy i just i just was making it um more difficult i think but anyways uh i was starting to place all of the vines and i wanted to make sure i left enough footprint for um a house on site so i basically took a break to add in this house it's a it's a very small cute um single bedroom single bath home and it's just everything you need for like a rich owner on site all a uh, uh, not sorry i shouldn't say rich owner they're rich because this uh lot is like 300,000 or something like that it's not even that much really in real life 
a vineyard would probably be a lot more expensive and so that's why I automatically just gave my sim like nine million dollars when I was building this because I expected it to be really expensive and it was actually not that expensive compared to what I imagined it would be obviously <laughs> so um yeah so they're I guess they're not really that rich and they're they're not very like yeah they're very live a very simple life because you know they enjoy spending time outside in their vineyard or this is maybe just like a place for them to conveniently uh take a shower when they are on the property maybe they actually have the house off the property whatever you want uh you know i just wanted to put a house here that way you could like sleep and shower and do all of the necessities on site without having to leave i felt i feel like that's a lot more convenient um than like going back home and coming back you know if you don't want to so the option is here um but i basically just um recreated the same vibe as the um tasting room so it's very similar, same stone wood walls, um, and I end up using a lot of the kitchen kit items here just because I feel like those counters and like cabinets work really well in this type of a build. Um, it's very like rustic, cozy, but um, you know, I ended up using like a few other things from other packs as well, like that. I'm not sure where that stove came from but it works pretty well here um and here i am working on the bathroom so you do technically have two bathrooms in this whole lot um but this bathroom um i'd imagine you would lock the doors to only be available to the household but you know do whatever you want you do you um but i ended up locking the doors to the house just to be for the household only but here I am just adding some final touches here and there just to cozy it up a bit. Um, plants always make it feel more like home-like um, and a little less cold inside. I don't know. So I added a bunch of plants and some cute candles, adding some art pieces and of course had to give them all of the all of the necessities like a a computer uh for their entertainment needs um their fun needs i should say um and a nice double bed and some decor items some wine paintings because you can't get enough from being on the property um but yeah that's about it and then i'm gonna pop back to the Oh, actually real quick I'm making a um, what is it called a wine cellar in the basement so that's really neat um, I don't know it's not that neat it's pretty basic <laughs> I just basically put more of those wine um, shelves I don't know those wine display units um, back to back and added some lighting and that's it it's pretty small like realistically you would probably have um, a much larger wine storage space for a large winery like this but then again it's not that large um, in comparison to like actual wineries um, so maybe it's just like a local mom and pop vineyard area um, and they just need a little bit of wine storage because all of the locals are always um, you know buying them out <laughs> so I don't know, you can make it bigger if you want to, but it's not functional, it's just like for decor purposes or whatever, so I didn't think that it was that necessary to make a large basement, but here I am just carrying over like the pond and the willow tree to this side of, side of the lot just to kind of, again, disguise the house because I didn't want it to be super obvious that the owner lives on site. I want to give them their own privacy so I ended up facing the front of their house to the side um, to make it not that obvious and yeah I think it looks really nice it's discreet enough yet close on site and here I am you see I finally switched gave in and switched to the fall season so it's not as green um, but the vines do start to grow in all together at once uh, cohesively so uh, it ends up being much nicer and uh, once I end up going into live mode 
but of course, like right now they're just dirt piles. <laughs> but you'll see in the tour in just a second. I'm just adding a few final touches here and there, um, like changing the hedges to rocks, adding some fruit, um, this cute flower wagon. I think I added a, like a wishing well or something like that as well to the side of the house. And you can never have too many barrels at a vineyard. So just making it feel more like a vineyard with these final touches and that's it. So here is our winery. You're welcome. You can now go wine tasting in this um you know, you got to use your imagination a little bit, but it's here for you. So this is the grapevine. Let me know um, what you think about this build in general and this video. Give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe for more videos like this. And until then, enjoy the tour.